Outside Tampa, where the Boca Siega Bay meets land, sits a city with a three-word motto. Keep Gulfport weird. <laughs> Gulfport prides itself on being a weird place with weird people and weird realtors. I am pretty weird. Like Stacy Purcell. We met Stacy on a tour of this house that at first seemed ordinary. Pretty normal. Yes. Then we got to the kitchen. This is the tree. Rooted between the sink and the fridge sits a piece of living, oxygen-sucking, bark-covered decor. Yes. Not exactly an amenity buyers are clamoring for these days. This tree has, let's just say, stood the test of time. She's not kidding. It's been here for more than two centuries. Although Stacy's not sure how it ended up smack dab in the kitchen. I feel sorry for the tree, kind of. Most realtors would see a home with a towering oak through the roof as a challenge. Not this one. Oh my gosh, I want to sell that house. And it didn't take long. Well, um, I kind of danced around it as fast as I could and tried to divert attention. It's very hard, okay? Especially if they came with a dog. Thanks to a real estate market hotter than a Florida summer day, the place has sold. Everybody, they should have a professional carver come in and make it like an octopus that holds wine bottles and things like that. Wouldn't that be cute? Or the new owner could choose to remove it altogether. But Stacy thinks this tree could grow on just about anyone. It is the perfect place. In the city where weird is cool. You want to touch the tree? Come on. You can touch the tree. You can touch it. In Gulfport. Say hi. Sean Martinelli. Hi, tree. NBC2.